When I read Stephen Covey's book, and it was just like every inch of every day is scheduled. It's like, not gonna happen, not gonna work. Because I'm home, then people think that I'm not working. I and mom were very family oriented, so your artwork is something you can do later on. And so you keep putting it off, and after a while, you don't actually practice it. <laughs> I would love for my creative life to be my income, but that isn't always the case. I attempted to keep three calendars, but I got in trouble doing that. My father once told me, you can make a lot happen in five minutes. And I really believe that. For me, time management is synonymous with energy management. When I do a show at 8 o'clock, I want to have optimal energy at 8 p.m. So I will schedule my whole day with my energy requirements in mind. I have to think to myself, if I was in an office, would I be dealing with this right now? So I don't answer my phone, because <laughs> I'm like, that's my time, this is the time I work, and I need to honor my work. I've not always managed Joe's business, but one of the things that we decided was he could not do everything himself. Joe really clicks in the evening times. And so for our schedule, what he requested was, can you schedule me in late evening working hours? Which is really hard with a family. I have a calendar. I mean, I have, I have an old fashioned calendar. I'm trying to convert to a, a computer calendar, but you don't have to call uh, tech support to know how to use a pencil. <laughs> we first started off like writing things on the calendar monthly and just letting the weeks go by. And you know, I'm heading to the studio and well, you have to watch the kids now. And so we lately been doing the weekly. What I usually do is keep a big uh, whiteboard calendar in my studio and I just sort of have the big days blocked out. This is sort of the, the end of the opportunity to make work. This is the end of the opportunity to glaze work. And that seems to help me a lot just sort of organize what I need to be doing now in order to prepare for three to four weeks from now, six months from now, etc. Anyone who's written a play knows that the day before the play is due, you're going to be the deadline fever. I learned in playwriting to build in earlier deadlines where I would say, I'm having a reading. Everybody come over, I'm making a spaghetti dinner. And then that, that forces me to do in the 11th hour, two months before, as opposed to the actual night before. It's, it's all about staying on track. Some procrastination definitely gives me a little bit of energy because when that deadline, like something is due in three days and I haven't started it yet, then you know, there's certain creative energy that comes out. I can kind of work like that, but not all the time. Sometimes I feel unprepared when I do that. So I, I, try, to, I try to put earmarks on my calendars when certain phases need to be completed. I found that when you're working with people, they'll forgive you if you mess up on stage, you forget a song or you forget a line, but they will not forgive you if you're late. That they remember forever. I think a lot of artists work in very solitary ways, but we're not an island. Find the tools that you need to help make it successful. If you value your artwork and if it's important to you, um, make it intentional and make the time. I don't think there's necessarily a standard. I think it has to do with knowing thyself, you know, and what you need to be able to function and have a life that's not just about your work, but it's also about your life and how you want to live.